Hello everyone, welcome back to Math with Allison. Today we're working in our sequences and series series, so we're going to be talking about the harmonic series. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Here we have what the harmonic series is. So it's a summation from k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over k. So as you plug in your k values and you add them up, you end up getting 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth, so on, right? So the big question of the series is, does it converge or diverge? Well, let's go ahead and think about the limit. When we take the limit as k approaches infinity of 1 over k, when k gets really, really big, this is going to go to 0, which is why it's a little confusing. If 1 over k converges to 0, why doesn't the series converge? Well, let's take a look at it from a different perspective. Here we have the function 1 over x. So here we can actually integrate the area of this function. So the area is going to be everything underneath the curve, right? And we can find this area by using the integral. So this is going to be the integral starting at 1, going all the way to infinity. But if I wrote infinity, I would have an improper integral. So I'm going to write b. And we're going to take the limit as b approaches infinity, right? And this is going to be 1 over x dx. We're going to compare that to the Riemann sums. So do you remember with Riemann sums? So we take an area, right? I'm going to go all the way up to my function. And I estimate it with a rectangle. So here would be our first rectangle. And notice that this area is equal to 1, right? Our next rectangle, we're starting at 2, going up to our function, and we're using a rectangle to estimate that area. So that area is equal to 1 half. Now we can keep doing this. So I'm starting at 3, going up to my function. I have another one. This area is going to be equal to 1 third. How do I know these areas? Well, I'm just using the height of each rectangle. So the first height is 1. The second height is 1 half. This third one is 1 third. This next one that we would have, if we have another rectangle right here, this little height would be 1 fourth, right? Because we're starting at 1, we're going to 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth. And all of these have the same length. All of these have a little length of 1, right? So I multiply the height by the base. It's going to be 1, 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth, all the way on. So notice that these rectangles are overestimating the area under the curve because we have all of this extra area up here, right? So the area under the curve is going to be a little bit smaller than all of these areas. We get 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth plus 1 fifth, and then that's going to go on forever, right? Well, what is this right side equal to? When we're adding these all together, that's the harmonic series. So this is a series, k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over k. Now, we can actually evaluate this limit on the left side. So here, let's take the limit as b approaches infinity. And we can take the antiderivative of that. So one, the integral of 1 over x is going to be natural log of x evaluated between 1 and b. And this is going to be less than the harmonic series. k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over k. So let's go ahead and plug in upper minus lower. So notice that the natural log of 1 is just 0. So this is just going to be the limit as b approaches infinity of the natural log of b. And here, this is less than the harmonic series. So k equals 1 to infinity, that's a terrible 1, of 1 over k. Well, what's the natural log of infinity? It's just infinity. So here we have infinity is going to be less than the summation from k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over k. So this is telling us that the harmonic series is greater than infinity. And what's greater than infinity? Infinity. So this tells us. the harmonic series is going to diverge to infinity. It's going to continually grow larger and larger, and you can use that with Riemann sums versus the actual integral, right? The Riemann sums, which is the harmonic series, is an overprediction of the area between the curve 1 over x and the x-axis. So that is one way to prove it. There are multiple other ways, but I like this one best. But that's all I have for us in this video today. I hope this helps you understand the harmonic series a little better. If you enjoyed this video, I have many more like it, so make sure to check out my playlist that are linked down below. Otherwise, please give this video a thumbs up and comment other problems or topics you'd like to see done. Thanks for watching.